My people, oh, KBSC had a dream. Only of you fed don't see dream, oh. Hmm. I'm not saying they have dream before, but this time around, hey, Bill, I said they, don't, they want to show him direct that these people, these Oloris are really, really working hard to achieve their aim so that he will too, he too will be careful. So we had, uh, allegedly that KBSC had a dream and in that his dream, he saw Auntie B, Auntie Blue Blue, Olori Gospel. Three of them in that dream. You know that since these people thought that burying cow head in the Yeyoluwa squatter is going to stop Queen Naomi from coming back to the palace, KBSC decided to build another house for Queen Naomi near the near his own lodge as in near his own palace chamber mm -hmm. so that his eyes will be reaching where the house is and what will be happening so that nobody can be able to go there and plant anything again so my poor people they said that KBC started building the, the the house so the house is just you know how KBC can be mean if you want to do something fast because he really want Kunomi to come back to the palace. So he started the building. As he was building the house, though, they said that he, he had a dream. In that his dream, he was building the house. The house had gotten to some length. As in the house is fast uh, growing. That Kabiyoshi saw these three women. In that his dream. And they were coming from that uh, building. With a pot of juju in that building. And Kabiyasi was like, What are you people doing here? In that dream, you know, say so you get as dream used to be. It seems as if they are not even hearing what Kabiyasi is asking. Kabiyasi asked them again, What are you people doing here? What have you come here to do? And they were like, Asking Kabiyasi, does it mean that we cannot come and check the house we are building? You have, you know, you are serious, so. And the KBSC was like looking at them in that dream, thinking in his mind that these people have evil agenda for this visit. That they don't this visit is not just ordinary visit because visiting KBSC's building, the, the building they know that KBSC is building for Kabi, uh, Queen Naomi. Um, you get a CB, my people. Who, they said that KBSC, after seeing that dream, tomorrow morning, it's not exactly tomorrow morning, the next day, I don't know exactly the day that's the way that uh, dream appeared to him that was the way he now saw these two people it's not as if the other person was with them uh until until he took P two face was not with them again it is auntie green and auntie blue blue the two i can't be saw them and was like they were coming from the house from the building and can't be was like what are you two coming from that building from as in, where are you coming from? And they said that they are coming from the building. Can't, can't you see that? Hey, this one a physical. Oh. And can you see now, remind, remember the the dream he had? That these people went to Kwenomi's, that new building now. And can you see was asking them, what did you go there to drop? Because I know that this your visit is not ordinary one. And they started saying that, hey, can you see, can they visit your your new house again. Is it because you are building it for Queen Naomi? They will not cross that place. Eh, hey, what, what did they, what does KBSC mean? That can they visit that house again? That this is too much. What is this? Hey, my people. You see that KBSC doesn't even take it lightly with them. Because that dream, that dream means a lot. I don't know whether KBSC saw the juju that they dropped there. But in that, his dream, he saw a juju pot in that, in that building. Where they wanted to go or be where they kept it. I don't know whether they want to bury it or maybe they want to do it, do what with it. But KBC saw it in the dream. As we heard it allegedly, don't forget that I was not there when he was seeing it. Now here I hear, and I just say, let me share with you. So KBC was like, these people, when he now saw them in the physical, that was when he now knew that all this, all this thing that Konomi will call her and tell her that uh, she had a dream. Where they, they are planning this, they are planning that. 
that is when KBC will not believe that all of these things are true. Because all these Oloris, I don't know what is their mind. Their mind, they don't know. Their plan is just never to see Kunomi around KBC. That is their major plan. They don't want to see Kunomi around KBC. They want to have KBC all by them. So that is why they say that Yantibi went and they brought a beautiful girl like that and asking KBC to marry. That KBC, instead of marrying, instead of bringing back Kunomi to the palace, let him marry that one. Even if he marry that one, they will still be having issues because they are still sharing the same Gola and all of that. My people, oh, I was marveled when I heard this one. In short, it's better that KBC see this dream. It's, I, it's better than he have the dream because it's not every time Kunomi will call, I have a dream, I, I had a dream, I saw you and this, they were trying to dethrone you, they were trying to do this. Sometimes it's good that Kabiye see, see those dreams, especially that time they were busy, I mean, wanting to dethrone him. That was when we started hearing that he had the same dream, almost three times. The time, the time he had a dream that he was being dethroned, he had the second one. Maybe the second, the third one, and even the the first and second one. Maybe the first, second, and third ones, and that was when they said that instead of being uh, careful, instead of being careful, and that was when they said that this um, tortoise with fire came visiting, pot of fire, uh, bells of fire, everything fire, fire. That is, they want to fire Kabi sit down from that throne. But God is not going to allow them to fire him down because they are not the one that fired him in. As long as it's God that fired him in there, nobody is going to fire him down. So Kabiesi had this dream and when he woke up, he now was like, these people, I know that your plans are not going to work for you. You are not going to achieve your plan. God of Kunomi and the God Almighty will never allow anything to happen to Kunomi. Kunomi is going to come back to the palace. And KBC is making effort to see that that happened. But these Oluris are fighting it seriously. Anyway, all that they need is carefulness. To be careful. Because even the elders advise KBC and Konomi to be careful. If KBC will agree with us, let him send these people away. These two. Or at least these two. Igbi and the Blue Blue. If he send them away, nothing will happen. This one we hear that La Fogidi's family are planning against him if he if he's divorced their daughter. This one will happen, the other one will happen. What about them? Anyway, if marriage is not working for you, you divorce that person. I beg, that is my own soul. This one is not even a marriage. This one is kidnapping. You, you came and kidnapped Konomi's husband from, from her. And anyway, share my people and I take care and don't forget that all of these are alleged information. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.